Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about the five kingdoms. The five kingdom classification was actually proposed by the R. H. Whitaker in the year 1969. It is the most famous classification which is accepted nowadays. And the five kingdom classification suggests that there are five kingdoms: Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. Okay. Now. we are actually talking about the comparative account of all the five kingdoms okay we are talking about the comparative account and in the later videos we will be talking about the monera protista fungi plantain animalia in detail so have a look cell type first character is the cell type that what type of the cell is actually found in all these five kingdoms as we know very well there are two type of the cells prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell okay so the cell type of the monerians is the prokaryotic means they are having the primitive nucleus or the incipient nucleus and the nucleus is not bounded by a well defined nuclear membrane so in the case of the monera the cell type is prokaryotic and they are prokaryotic as well as they are unicellular why the protista members are eukaryotic they are having the cell type eukaryotic cell they are having the eukaryotic cell but they are unicellular means protista are unicellular eukaryotic organisms while the fungi plantae and animalia kingdoms are eukaryotic and they are multicellular so to learn we can say that in the monera the cell type is prokaryotic while in all other protista fungi plantae and animalia the cell type is uh, that is eukaryotic and you have to remember this thing that in protista the members are unicellular and eukaryotic otherwise all the members are multicellular and eukaryotic okay now what is the type of the cell wall cell wall is made up of which substances we have to discuss this thing then see the monera monera are definitely having they are having the cell wall but the cell wall is not made up of the cellulose the cell wall is non cellulosic and it is made up of polysaccharides and amino acid when we discuss the bacteria right in bacteria we say that the cell wall is made up of mucopeptides or the peptidoglycan okay which means that the cell wall is made up of polysaccharides and amino acids if we see the cell wall in the protista then in some members the cell wall is present while some members are not having the cell wall okay and in the fungi the cell wall is present but it is without cellulose right and in plantae we know very well that all the head plants are having the cell wall and the cell wall is made up of cellulose which is a polysaccharide and in the case of the animalia the cell wall is totally absent because we know very well the big difference between the plant cell and the animal cell is that that the plant cells are having the cell wall made up of cellulose while the animal cells are not having the cell wall okay now if we talk about the nuclear membrane as we know very well that in the starting only i have said that a prokaryotic cell is a cell in which nuclear membrane is absent they are not having a clear nucleus they are having the incipient nucleus so we can say that nuclear membrane is absent here while in all the other members whether they are the protista fungi plantae or animalia the nuclear membrane is present why because all have eukaryotic cell organization and we know that eukaryotic cells are the cells which are having the two nucleus and the nucleus is bounded by a well defined nuclear membrane okay now body organization now as we know that there are different type of the body organizations say for cellular grade of body organization tissue grade of body organization organ grade of body organization organ system level of body organization so see in the case of the monera the body organization is cellular why because they are unicellular they are single celled organism so definitely they cannot form the tissues so they are cellular here also in the case of the protist we know that though they are eukaryotic but they are unicellular so they are not having the tissues so the cell organization is cellular type so what you have to remember is that in the monera and the protista both have the cellular grade of the body organization but if we see the fungi so we know very well that fungi are multicellular organisms and these multicellular organism forms loose tissue they are not forming the compact or the dense tissue the cells in this tissue are loose 
so they are multicellular and they have loose tissue if we talk about the plantae then in the case of the plants the body organization is tissue grade of body organization or organ grade of body organization while in the case of the animalia the body organization may be tissue grade organ grade or organ system grade okay so in monera and protista cellular in fungi multicellular having loose tissue and in plantae tissue and organ type and in animalia tissue organ or organ system type of body organization now what type of the mode of nutrition is found mode of nutrition as we know very well that the monera is having the autotrophic mode of nutrition as well as heterotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic means they can synthesize food as we know that there are many bacteria which are included in the prokaryotes and they are having the power to synthesize the food but when they are when they are utilizing the chemical substances to actually synthesize the food then it is known as what chemosynthetic and when they are actually uh, producing the food by utilizing the light energy then they are photosynthetic so they may be autotrophic they can prepare their own food but by chemosynthesis or by photosynthesis but there are few bacteria and other prokaryotes which are heterotrophic means they may be saprophytic or parasitic saprophytic means they feed on dead and decaying organism and parasitic means they feed on other living host if we talk about the protista they are autotrophic or heterotrophic some members are autotrophic and they synthesize food with the help of photosynthesis that's why they are called as photosynthetic and some are heterotrophic they are dependent on others and they cannot prepare their own food fungi we know very well that fungi are definitely heterotrophic they don't have pigments they cannot synthesize food so they are saprophytic or parasitic means they can feed on dead and decaying organisms or they may live or reside or take food from the other organisms and hence they are parasitic plantae we know very well plants are definitely autotrophic they have different type of the pigments they utilize the light energy and prepare food by the process of the photosynthetic right so they are photosynthetic because they do photosynthesis animalia as we know very well animals are dependent on plants for food they do not they prepare their own food so they are heterotrophic they are holozoic what is holozoic holozoic means animal like nutrition they ingest food which is actually prepared by the plants and they may be saprophytic saprophytic means they can take food from dead and decaying organisms okay and mode of reproduction mode of reproduction in the monera the mode of reproduction is genetic recombination means in the case of the monera true sexual reproduction is absent they have genetic recombination right and the conjugation is the best way of uh, the genetic recombination in which the two prokaryotic cells means the two bacterial cell come near to each other temporarily and a conjugation tube is formed between them and they exchange their genetic material and after the exchange of the genetic material the two cells are separated so this is what conjugation in the case of the protista syngamy means the fusion of the gametes as well as conjugation can occur why in the case of the fungi plantae and animalia true type of sexual reproduction is present gametes are formed and male and female gametes fuse together right which is called as the fertilization and the zygote is formed so fungi plantae and animalia in them the mode of the sexual reproduction is true and they show true type of fertilization or the fusion of the gametes okay so dear students this was the comparative account of the monera protista fungi plantae and animalia we have given the comparative account based on the cell type cell wall nuclear membrane body organization mode of nutrition and mode of reproduction this is the best way to study the five kingdom classification in the coming videos you can watch that i will be uh, making new videos on the monera protista fungi plantae and animalia keep watching if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take it thanks a lot